Greek mythology is the body of myths and teachings that belong to the ancient Greeks, concerning their gods and heroes, the nature of the world, and the origins and significance of their own cult and ritual practices. It was a part of the religion in ancient Greece. The most famous Greek myths are the stories of the gods, goddesses, heroes, and monsters that lived in ancient Greece. Some of the most well-known include the story of Zeus and his family, the story of the Trojan War, and the story of the Minotaur. Greek mythology is a collection of stories, beliefs, and rituals that were an integral part of ancient Greek culture. The myths were passed down through the generations and were used to explain natural phenomena, cultural traditions, and the origins of the world. They were also used to explain the beliefs and practices of the ancient Greeks, such as their religious rituals and the roles of their gods and goddesses. The gods and goddesses of Greek mythology were thought to reside on Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece, and were believed to be immortal and all-powerful. The most well-known gods and goddesses include Zeus, the king of the gods and god of thunder, Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare, Apollo, the god of music and prophecy, and Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Heroes like Hercules, Perseus and Theseus are also an important part of Greek mythology. They are known for their strength, bravery and their ability to accomplish impossible tasks. Greek myths were also the source of inspiration for many works of art and literature, including the plays of Homer, Sophocles, and Euripides, and the epic poem The Odyssey by Homer. The influence of Greek mythology can also be seen in modern literature, art, and culture. In summary, Greek mythology is a rich and complex collection of stories, beliefs, and rituals that played a significant role in the culture and religion of ancient Greece and continue to influence modern society. Greek mythology is a vast and fascinating subject with many stories and characters to explore. One important aspect of Greek mythology is the concept of the cosmogony or the creation of the universe. The ancient Greeks had various stories and explanations for how the world came to be, but the most well-known is the story of the creation of the world by the gods and goddesses. According to this story, in the beginning, there was only chaos, an empty void. From chaos, the first deities emerged, Gaia, Earth, Tartarus, Underworld, Eros, Love, and Erebus, Darkness. From the union of Gaia and Uranus, Sky, the Titans were born, and they were followed by the Olympians. Another aspect is the concept of the afterlife. The ancient Greeks believed in an afterlife, and they had various stories and beliefs about what happened to the souls of the dead. The most well-known is the story of the underworld, where the souls of the dead went to be judged by the god of the underworld, Hades. The souls of those who had led good lives went to the Elysium, a place of eternal happiness, while the souls of those who had led bad lives were sent to Tartarus, a place of eternal punishment. The mythology also includes many stories of mortal heroes, demigods and monsters. The heroes were often the sons of gods and mortal women, and they were known for their strength, courage, and ability to accomplish impossible tasks. Examples include Perseus, who defeated the Gorgon Medusa, Theseus, who killed the Minotaur, and Heracles, Hercules, who completed the Twelve Labors. Monsters such as the Minotaur, Cyclops, and Medusa were often depicted as fierce creatures with superhuman strength and terrifying features. In addition to the stories, Greek mythology also includes a pantheon of gods and goddesses, each with their own unique roles and responsibilities. These gods and goddesses were often depicted in art and were the subject of religious rituals and festivals. Greek mythology continues to be a popular and influential subject in literature, art, and popular culture. Many modern movies, TV shows, and books are based on or inspired by Greek myths, and the characters and stories continue to capture the imagination of people around the world. A popular Greek mythology story One popular story from Greek mythology is the story of the labors of Heracles, Hercules in Roman mythology. Heracles was the son of Zeus and a mortal woman named Alcmene. He was known for his incredible strength and courage, and he was often called upon to perform impossible tasks. As punishment for killing his family in a fit of madness, Heracles was ordered by the king of Mycenae, Eurystheus, to complete ten seemingly impossible tasks, known as the labors of Heracles. The labors were 1. Kill the Nemean lion, a ferocious beast with impenetrable skin. 2. Kill the Lernaean hydra, a serpent with multiple heads that grew back when cut off. 3. Capture the Arimanthian boar, a wild beast that lived on a mountain. 4. Capture the wild horses of Diomedes, fed on human flesh. 5. Clean the Aegean stables, which had not been cleaned in 30 years and were filled with manure. 6. Kill the Stymphalian birds, a flock of man-eating birds with metal feathers. 7. Capture the Cretan bull, 
a wild beast that was causing destruction on the island of Crete. 8. Steal the mares of Diomedes, a herd of man-eating horses. 9. Obtain the belt of Hippolyta, queen of the Amazons. 10. Obtain the cattle of Gerion, a monster with three bodies. Heracles accomplished all of the tasks, although not always in the way Eurystheus had intended. For example, in the first task, Heracles killed the Nemean lion by strangling it with his bare hands, and in the fifth task, he cleaned the Aegean stables by diverting a river through them. After completing the ten labors, Heracles became one of the greatest heroes in Greek mythology, and his deeds were celebrated in poetry and art for centuries to come. The story of the labors of Heracles is a popular subject in literature and art, and it continues to be an inspiration for modern works of fiction and film. This is one of the many stories in Greek mythology that showcases the bravery, strength, and cunning of the heroes and demigods, as well as the power and influence of the gods and goddesses. Greek mythology mainly have 12 gods. Number 12 Aphrodite in Greek mythology, Aphrodite is the goddess of love, beauty, and sexuality. She is often depicted as a beautiful woman with long flowing hair. Aphrodite is considered the most beautiful of all the gods and goddesses and is known for her ability to make people fall in love with her. She is often associated with the Roman goddess Venus. The story of Aphrodite's birth is that she was born from the foam of the sea and was considered the mother of love and beauty. Aphrodite is also known for her many affairs and romantic relationships. One of her most famous lovers was Ares, the god of war. However, Aphrodite was also married to Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths and metalworking, but she was unfaithful to him and had many other lovers. She is also known for her role in the Trojan War, as it was her beauty that caused the Trojan prince Paris to choose her as the most beautiful goddess, leading to the Trojan War. Aphrodite was also worshipped as a goddess of fertility and was often depicted with symbols such as the dove, swan, and myrtle tree. Aphrodite was also known for her power to bestow beauty and charm upon mortals. She was known to be fond of mortal women and would often make them more beautiful and attractive to their lovers. The goddess was also known to be a protector of sailors and seafarers, as well as a protector of prostitutes and courtesans, who were considered sacred to her. Aphrodite was also associated with several festivals, such as the Aphrodisia, which was celebrated in her honor in many Greek cities. In Athens, the festival of Aphrodite Pandemos was celebrated, in which the goddess was honored as the protector of the people. Aphrodite's cult was widespread in the ancient world, and her temples were found throughout Greece, Cyprus, and Asia Minor. Many famous poets, such as Homer and Sappho, wrote about the goddess, and she continues to be a popular figure in literature, art, and popular culture today. Number 11 Athena in Greek mythology, Athena is the goddess of wisdom, courage, inspiration, civilization, law and justice, strategic warfare, mathematics, strength, strategy, the arts, crafts, and skill. She is the daughter of Zeus and Mates, and was born fully grown and armored from her father's forehead. Athena is often depicted as a fierce warrior, but is also associated with the owl, which symbolizes wisdom. She was the patron goddess of the city of Athens, which was named after her. Athena is one of the twelve Olympian gods and goddesses in Greek mythology who lived on Mount Olympus. She was considered to be one of the most powerful and intelligent of all the gods. Athena was also known as Pallas Athena, Athena Parthenos, and Athena Promachos, as she had many different roles and epithets. Athena was the goddess of wisdom and is often depicted as a virgin goddess, in contrast to Aphrodite who was the goddess of love and beauty. Athena was known for her intelligence and strategic thinking, and was often sought after for advice by the other gods and mortals alike. Athena was also the goddess of war and was known for her fierce fighting skills. She was often depicted in armor, carrying a shield and spear. She was also said to have invented the flute and the trumpet, and to have taught mankind the art of spinning and weaving. In mythology, Athena was associated with the city of Athens, which was named after her. The Parthenon, a temple dedicated to Athena, was built on the Acropolis of Athens and was one of the most important religious buildings in ancient Greece. The statue of Athena Parthenos, which was located inside the temple, was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Athena was also associated with the owl, which was considered a symbol of wisdom. The owl was often depicted on Athena's helmet or alongside her in art. Overall Athena was a complex goddess, with many roles and associations in Greek mythology, but she is mostly recognized as goddess of wisdom, warfare and protector of the city of Athens. Athena is also known for her role in the story of the birth of Athena. According to mythology, Zeus swallowed Mates, the goddess of wisdom and the mother of Athena, after learning that she was pregnant with a child who would be more powerful than him. 
Later, Zeus had a headache and asked Hephaestus, the god of blacksmiths, to split his head open with an axe. From Zeus's head emerged Athena, fully grown and armored. This story explains why Athena was considered the goddess of wisdom, as she was born from the head of the king of the gods, who was the embodiment of wisdom and intelligence. Athena was also known for her role in the Trojan War, as she supported the Greeks during the war. In the Iliad, Athena is portrayed as a fierce warrior and is often shown fighting alongside the Greek heroes. She was also known to have helped Odysseus on his journey home after the Trojan War, as well as assisting Perseus in his quest to kill Medusa. Athena's symbol is the owl, which represents wisdom and knowledge, and is often depicted on her helmet. The olive tree is also associated with Athena, as the city of Athens was said to have been named after the olive tree that Athena gave to the city. In addition, the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to Athena, was built on the Acropolis of Athens, and it is one of the most important ancient Greek monuments. In summary, Athena is a goddess of wisdom, war, craft, and the arts in Greek mythology. She was born fully grown and armored from the head of Zeus, and was known for her intelligence, strategic thinking, and fierce fighting skills. Athena was also associated with the city of Athens, the owl, and the olive tree, and her temple, the Parthenon, is one of the most important ancient Greek monuments. In addition to the things I've already mentioned, Athena was also known for her role in the contest for the city of Athens. According to mythology, Athena and Poseidon both wanted the city of Athens to be named after them. To decide who would get the honor, they decided to have a contest and the one who could give the city the most useful gift would win. Poseidon struck the ground with his trident and a saltwater spring emerged, but Athena won the contest by giving the city the olive tree, which provided food, oil, and wood. This is why Athena is often referred to as Athena Polias meaning Athena of the city, as her gift to the city was considered the most valuable. Athena was also associated with the goddess of victory, Nike. Nike was a companion of Athena, and the two were often depicted together. Nike was the goddess who brought victory in battle, and Athena was known for her strategic thinking and fighting skills, so the two were considered to be a powerful combination. Athena was also known for her role in the myth of Arachne. Arachne was a mortal weaver who was so skilled that she claimed to be better than Athena herself. Athena took the challenge, and the two had a weaving contest. Athena's tapestry depicted the gods and their power, while Arachne's tapestry mocked the gods and their actions. Athena was so angry that she destroyed Arachne's tapestry and turned her into a spider, as punishment for her pride and insolence. Athena is also associated with the goddess of wisdom and knowledge, Mates, who was her mother. Mates was the first wife of Zeus, and was swallowed by Zeus when he learned that she was pregnant with Athena. This is why Athena was born fully grown and armored from Zeus's head. In summary, Athena is a goddess of wisdom, war, and the arts. She was born fully grown and armored from the head of Zeus, and was known for her intelligence, strategic thinking, and fierce fighting skills. Athena was associated with the city of Athens, the owl, the olive tree, the goddess of victory, Nike, and the goddess of wisdom and knowledge, Mates. Her role in the myth of Arachne and the contest for the city of Athens demonstrates her strong will and determination. Number 10 Artemis in Greek mythology, Artemis is the goddess of the hunt, wilderness, childbirth, virginity, and protector of young girls, bringing and relieving disease in women, she often was depicted as a huntress carrying a bow and arrows. She is the daughter of Zeus and Leto, and twin sister of Apollo. She was also associated with the moon and was sometimes called Cynthia. Her Roman equivalent is Diana. Artemis is often depicted as a maiden with a bow and arrows, and is associated with wild animals and nature. She is a virgin goddess and was considered the protector of young girls. She was also a goddess of childbirth and was often invoked by women during labor. Artemis was also associated with the moon and was sometimes called Cynthia, after her birthplace on the island of Delos. She was also associated with the goddess Hecate, who was a goddess of witchcraft and crossroads. In addition to her role as a goddess of the hunt, Artemis was also known for her role in protecting the young and preserving virginity. She was known for her fierce loyalty to her friends and was often called upon to protect young women from unwanted suitors. Artemis was also known for her compassion, and was often depicted as helping women and children in need. She was also known for her fierce independence and was seen as a powerful symbol of female strength and autonomy. Some of the stories of Artemis include her birth, her hunting, her virginity and her role as a protector. She had many temples and shrines throughout ancient Greece, and she was one of the most widely worshipped of the ancient Greek gods and goddesses. Artemis was also known for her association with wild animals and nature. 
She was often accompanied by a pack of hunting dogs and was associated with various wild animals such as deer, bears, and lions. She was also associated with the wilderness and was often depicted hunting in the forest. She was considered the protector of wild animals and was often invoked to protect them from hunters. Artemis was also known for her role in the story of Actaeon, a hunter who accidentally stumbled upon her while she was bathing. As punishment for seeing her naked, Artemis turned Actaeon into a stag and he was subsequently hunted and killed by his own hunting dogs. This story serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of violating the sacred space of the goddess. In addition to her role as a goddess of the hunt and nature, Artemis was also associated with the protection of young girls. She was often invoked to protect young girls from unwanted advances and was considered the guardian of their virginity. Artemis was also associated with the concept of virginity and chastity. She was a virgin goddess and was considered a role model for young girls in ancient Greece. It was also believed that making an offering to Artemis could help to preserve a girl's virginity. Artemis was also known for her association with the moon and was often depicted with a crescent moon on her forehead. She was also associated with the night and the darkness, and was considered a powerful goddess of the night and the underworld. Artemis was widely worshipped throughout ancient Greece and her cult was particularly popular among young girls and women. She was considered a powerful and benevolent goddess and was often invoked for protection and guidance. Number 9 Ares Ares is the Greek god of war. He is the son of Zeus and Hera, and is often depicted as a fierce and violent warrior. Ares is known for his love of battle and bloodshed, and is often considered a symbol of raw power and aggression. He is often depicted as carrying weapons such as a spear or a sword, and is often shown riding into battle on a chariot. Despite his fearsome reputation, Ares is not a popular god among the Greeks, who often saw him as a destructive and chaotic force. Ares was also associated with the planet Mars in Roman mythology. He was not only the god of war but also represented the physical embodiment of war and violence. He was a symbol of raw power, aggression and masculinity. He was known for his fierce and unbridled nature and his love for bloodshed. Ares was not well liked among the Olympian gods and goddesses, who saw him as a destructive and chaotic force. He was often at odds with Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare, who was known for her strategic and wise approach to battle. Ares was also known for his many love affairs, including his relationship with Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. In mythology, Ares was often portrayed as a fierce and savage warrior, who was quick to anger and eager to fight. He was also seen as a symbol of the darker side of human nature, representing the destructive and violent aspects of human behavior. Despite his negative reputation, Ares was still honored and worshipped in certain cults and rituals, particularly by soldiers and warriors. In summary, Ares is the Greek god of war, violence, and bloodshed. He was not well liked among the Olympian gods and goddesses, and was seen as a destructive and chaotic force. He was associated with the planet Mars in Roman mythology and was honored and worshipped by soldiers and warriors. Ares was also known for his participation in many famous battles in Greek mythology, such as the Trojan War. In Homer's Iliad, Ares joins the Trojan side of the war and fights against the Greeks, but he is eventually wounded by Diomedes, who is aided by Athena. This incident shows Ares as a fierce warrior but also his vulnerability as a god, and that even he can be wounded in battle. In addition to his role as a god of war, Ares was also associated with the concept of manliness and physical strength. He was often depicted as a muscular and powerful figure, and was considered a symbol of the ideal warrior. He was also associated with the concept of courage, as his followers were believed to be fearless in battle. Ares also had a number of children, including the warlike goddess Eris, the giant Enyalios and the warlike spirit Phobos, which means fear. Some other children attributed to him are Demos, Harmonia, Anteros, and Adrestia. In art and literature, Ares is often depicted as a fierce and powerful warrior, dressed in armor and carrying weapons. He is also sometimes shown riding on a chariot pulled by horses, representing his association with war and violence. In conclusion, Ares is an important figure in Greek mythology, known as the god of war, violence, and bloodshed. He was also associated with concepts such as manliness, physical strength, and courage, and was considered a symbol of the ideal warrior. He was not well liked among the Olympian gods and goddesses, and was often portrayed as a fierce and savage warrior in art and literature. Number 8 Apollo Apollo is one of the most important and well-known gods in Greek mythology. He is the son of Zeus and Leto, and the twin brother of Artemis. He is often depicted as a handsome, youthful god with long, golden hair, and is associated with music, poetry, prophecy, healing, and the sun. In mythology, 
Apollo is known as the god of music and poetry. He is said to have invented the lyre and was often depicted playing it. He was also known as the patron of the arts, and was said to have inspired poets and musicians. Apollo is also known as the god of prophecy and oracles. He was said to have established the oracle at Delphi, which was considered one of the most important centers of prophecy in ancient Greece. People would come from all over to seek the advice of the oracle, who was said to speak with the voice of Apollo. In addition to his role as a god of the arts and prophecy, Apollo was also associated with the sun and was considered the god of light and healing. He was said to have the power to heal diseases and could even bring the dead back to life. Apollo was also known for his role in the Trojan War. He was said to have aided the Greeks in their fight against the Trojans and was considered a protector of the Greek armies. Apollo is a god who was highly revered by the ancient Greeks and played a major role in their mythology and culture. Apollo also had many important roles in Greek mythology, including 1. God of the Sun, Apollo was associated with the sun and was considered the god of light, warmth, and healing. 1. He was said to drive his chariot across the sky each day, bringing light and warmth to the earth. 2. God of Agriculture, Apollo was also associated with the growth and fertility of crops and was considered a protector of farmers and shepherds. 2. He was said to be able to make crops flourish and bring bountiful harvests. 3. God of Healing, Apollo was known for his ability to heal diseases and injuries. 3. He was said to have the power to heal both physical and mental illnesses, and was considered the patron of medicine and healing. 4. God of Law and Order, Apollo was also associated with law and order and was considered the protector of civilized life. 4. He was said to uphold justice and punish those who broke the laws of society. 5. God of Athletics, Apollo was also the patron of athletes and was said to have been the inventor of games and contests. 5. He was often depicted as a strong and athletic god and was considered a protector of athletes in the Olympic Games. Apollo was also known for his many lovers and children, including the famous figures such as, Asclepius, god of medicine and healing, and Aristius, god of beekeeping, hunting, and fishing. He also had a son with a mortal woman named Hyacinthus, who was killed by accident and Apollo turned him into a flower named after him. Apollo was widely worshipped throughout the ancient Greek world, and many temples and shrines were dedicated to him. He was considered one of the twelve Olympian gods and was often depicted in art and literature. In addition to his many roles and associations, Apollo also had several famous myths and stories associated with him in Greek mythology. Some of the most well-known include. 1. The Delphic Oracle, as mentioned before, Apollo was said to have established the Oracle at Delphi, which was considered one of the most important centers of prophecy in ancient Greece. 1. The Oracle, who was a priestess, would enter into a trance and speak with the voice of Apollo, giving advice and predictions to those who came to seek her counsel. 2. The slaying of Python, according to legend, Apollo killed a giant serpent named Python that was terrorizing the people of Delphi. 2. This act established Apollo's authority over the area and led to the establishment of the oracle at Delphi. 3. The death of Hyacinthus, Apollo had a mortal lover named Hyacinthus, who was killed by accident. 3. In some versions of the story, Apollo accidentally killed him while playing a game of discus, while in others, he was killed by the jealous god of the west wind, Zephyrus. 3. Apollo was said to have been devastated by Hyacinthus' death and turned him into a flower, the Hyacinth. 4. The Muses, Apollo was also said to have fathered the nine Muses, who were goddesses of the arts and sciences. 4. They were said to have inspired artists, poets, and musicians and were considered to be the source of all artistic and intellectual inspiration. 5. The Apollo and Daphne, Apollo fell in love with the nymph Daphne, but she refused his advances. 5. To protect herself, she prayed to her father, a river god, who turned her into a laurel tree. 5. Apollo then made the laurel tree a sacred tree and wore a wreath of its leaves on his head. These are just a few examples of the many myths and stories associated with Apollo in Greek mythology. He was a complex and multifaceted god, and his stories reflect the many roles and associations he had in ancient Greek culture. Number 7 Demeter Demeter is the Greek goddess of agriculture, grain, and fertility. She is the daughter of Cronus and Rhea, and the sister of Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, Hestia, and Hera. In mythology, Demeter is best known for her role in the myth of Persephone. According to the story, Persephone, Demeter's daughter, was abducted by Hades and taken to the underworld to be his wife. Demeter, who was deeply grieving, searched the earth for her daughter, causing all plants and crops to wither and die. 
the other gods intervened and Persephone was allowed to return to the earth for six months each year, during which time Demeter would cause the plants and crops to grow again. This myth explains the changing of the seasons and the cycle of death and rebirth in nature. Demeter was also associated with the Eleusinian Mysteries, an ancient Greek religious festival that was held in honor of Demeter and Persephone. The festival was celebrated every year, and it was believed that those who participated in the mysteries would be blessed with a happy afterlife. In art, Demeter is often depicted as a mature woman, holding a torch or a sheaf of wheat. She is also sometimes shown with her daughter Persephone, or with other symbols of fertility such as a cornucopia or a pig. Demeter was also known as the Earth Mother and was revered as the goddess of agriculture and the harvest. She was responsible for the growth of crops and the fertility of the land. She was also the protector of marriage and the guardian of the sacred law. Demeter was also associated with the concept of sacrifice and ritual purification. In some myths, she was said to have created the first plow and taught humans how to cultivate the land. In addition to her role as the goddess of agriculture and fertility, Demeter was also associated with the cycles of life and death. Her tears were said to be responsible for the fall of leaves in autumn and her joy was said to bring about the growth of new plants in spring. Demeter was also considered a goddess of healing, and she was often invoked in times of illness or disease. She was particularly associated with the healing of women and childbirth. Demeter is one of the twelve Olympian gods. She was not just a goddess of fertility but also of the protection of the sacred law and marriage. In the cults of Demeter, which were most prevalent in the Peloponnesus, her daughter Persephone was seen as a goddess of the underworld. Demeter was also known as the Earth Mother and was revered as the goddess of agriculture and the harvest. She was responsible for the growth of crops and the fertility of the land. She was also the protector of marriage and the guardian of the sacred law. Demeter was also closely associated with the concept of regeneration and rebirth. The myth of Persephone, in which Demeter's daughter is taken to the underworld and then returns to the earth for part of the year, symbolizes the cycle of death and rebirth in nature. The Eleusinian Mysteries, which were held in honor of Demeter and Persephone, were believed to offer participants a glimpse of the afterlife and the promise of regeneration. Demeter was also associated with the sacred rituals of the Greek people. She was the patron of the Eleusinian Mysteries, which were held annually in the city of Eleusis in honor of Demeter and Persephone. These mysteries were believed to offer participants a glimpse of the afterlife and the promise of regeneration. In addition to her role in Greek mythology, Demeter has also had a significant impact on modern culture. She is often depicted in literature, art, and film, and her story continues to inspire writers, poets, and artists. Demeter's association with agriculture and the earth also continues to be relevant in modern times, as issues of sustainability and environmentalism become increasingly important. Demeter's cult was widely spread throughout ancient Greece and was particularly popular in the rural areas, where she was revered as the protector of farmers and their crops. She was also widely worshipped by women, especially during pregnancy and childbirth. Her temple in Eleusis was one of the most famous and important in ancient Greece and attracted thousands of visitors from all over the Greek world. Demeter is one of the most ancient and revered goddesses in Greek mythology, and her legacy continues to influence modern culture and thought. She represents the cycles of life and death, fertility, and protection. She is the protector of agriculture, marriage, and the sacred law. Her story and cult still inspire people today and gives us a glimpse of the ancient Greeks' way of life and beliefs. Number 6 Dionysus Dionysus is the Greek god of wine, fertility, and madness. He is the son of Zeus and Semele, a mortal woman who died giving birth to him. Dionysus is also known as Bacchus in Roman mythology. According to Greek mythology, Dionysus was born twice. The first time, he was born fully grown and armored from Zeus' thigh, after his mother was killed by Zeus' lightning bolts. The second time, he was born as a baby and raised by nymphs in secret to protect him from his jealous stepmother, Hera. Dionysus is known for his wild and ecstatic nature, often associated with wine and partying. He is the patron of theater, and his followers, known as the Bacchae, would engage in wild and frenzied rituals in his honor. Dionysus is also associated with fertility and agriculture, as his presence was believed to bring abundance and prosperity to crops and vineyards. He is often depicted holding a tharsis, a staff made of fennel and topped with a pine cone, which symbolizes fertility. In literature, Dionysus is a prominent figure in many plays and works of art, often appearing as a complex and unpredictable god. He is also known for his ability to drive people to madness, both in the sense of wild abandon and in the sense of insanity. Dionysus is a fascinating and complex figure in Greek mythology, embodying the wild and unpredictable nature of life, and the power of wine, 
fertility, and madness. Dionysus is also known as the god of theater and is often associated with the arts. He was believed to have invented tragedy, which was performed in his honor during the annual Dionysia festival. He is also known as the patron of the theater and actors. Dionysus was also associated with the afterlife and the underworld. He was believed to have the power to bring the dead back to life, and his followers believed that they would be blessed with eternal youth and happiness after death. As a god of wine, Dionysus was also associated with drunkenness and excess. He was often depicted with a wine jug and a wreath of ivy or grapes on his head. He was also known for his ability to drive people to madness and frenzy, both in a positive and negative sense. Dionysus was also known for his many romantic relationships and affairs. He was often depicted with multiple lovers, both mortal and divine. He was also known for his ability to seduce and enchant both men and women. Dionysus is a complex and multifaceted god in Greek mythology, embodying the wild and unpredictable aspects of life, as well as the power of wine, fertility, and the arts. He is often depicted as a charismatic and seductive figure, who can drive people to both madness and ecstasy. Dionysus was also known for his travels and adventures. He is said to have traveled to India and brought back the grape vine, which he then taught the Greeks how to cultivate. He also traveled to Egypt and was honored as a god there. He was also believed to have traveled to the underworld and brought back his mother, Semele, from the dead. Dionysus was also associated with the cult of the Maenads. The Maenads were female followers of Dionysus who would engage in wild and frenzied rituals in his honor. They were known for their ecstatic dancing, singing, and playing of instruments, as well as their wild and uninhibited behavior. Dionysus was also associated with the concept of rebirth and renewal. His followers believed that they would be reborn after death and that they would be blessed with eternal youth and happiness. This belief was also connected to the idea of the vine, which dies each year but is reborn in the spring. In art and literature, Dionysus is often depicted as a handsome, young god, with long hair and a wreath of ivy or grapes on his head. He is also often depicted holding a tharsis, a staff made of fennel and topped with a pine cone, which symbolizes fertility. In conclusion, Dionysus is a complex and multifaceted god in Greek mythology, embodying the wild and unpredictable aspects of life, as well as the power of wine, fertility, and the arts. He is also associated with travel, rebirth, and the cult of the Maenads. He is a fascinating and important figure in Greek mythology, and his legacy can be seen in art, literature, and culture even today. Number 5 Hades Hades is the Greek god of the underworld, also known as the realm of the dead. He is the brother of Zeus and Poseidon, and is the ruler of the dead and the afterlife. In Greek mythology, Hades is often depicted as a dark and gloomy figure, with a helmet that makes him invisible and a three-headed dog named Cerberus who guards the entrance to the underworld. He is also often associated with wealth and riches, as he is said to have control over precious metals and minerals found in the earth. In some versions of Greek mythology, Hades is also said to have a wife, Persephone, who was abducted by him and taken to the underworld. Hades is often portrayed as a powerful and feared god, as he was responsible for ensuring that the souls of the dead were properly judged and sent to their appropriate afterlife. He was also said to be able to control the underworld's earthquakes, and was known as the Unseen One as he had a helmet that would make him invisible. In the famous Greek epic poem, The Odyssey, the hero, Odysseus, must journey to the underworld to speak with the dead. In this story, Hades is depicted as a fair ruler who follows the laws of the gods. However, in other stories, Hades is portrayed as a cruel and uncaring ruler, who would punish the souls of the dead for any wrongdoing they had done in life. He was also known to kidnap and hold people against their will in the underworld, such as when he abducted Persephone and made her his queen. Despite his fearsome reputation, Hades is also known to have a softer side, as he loved his wife Persephone deeply and would allow the souls of the dead to return to the land of the living for a time each year, as part of the ancient Greek festival of the Eleusinian Mysteries. Hades is an important figure in Greek mythology, and his role as the ruler of the underworld and the afterlife is a reminder of the human fear of death and the unknown. Hades is also known for his wealth and riches as he is said to have control over precious metals and minerals found in the earth. He was believed to be the ruler of the mineral kingdom and the god of wealth. In ancient Greece, it was believed that the precious metals and minerals mined from the earth were gifts from Hades. Hades is also often depicted as a solitary figure, who keeps to himself in the underworld and rarely interacts with the other gods. He is often seen as a figure of mystery and intrigue, and his realm is often associated with darkness, death, and the unknown. In some versions of Greek mythology, 
It is said that the souls of the dead were judged by three judges in the underworld, Minus, Radamanthus, and Aeacus, who would determine whether the souls were sent to the Elysium, the Paradise, or the Tartarus, the punishment. Hades is also known for having a powerful army of the dead, that are said to be at his command, including the famous Gorgons, the three-headed dog Cerberus, and the fearsome Echidna. Despite his reputation as the god of death, Hades is also associated with the concept of rebirth and renewal. In the myth of Persephone, her return to the underworld each year is seen as a symbol of the cycle of death and rebirth, and the idea that death is not the end but a new beginning. In conclusion, Hades is a complex and multifaceted figure in Greek mythology, representing both fear and power, death, and rebirth. He is a reminder that death is a natural part of life and that even in death, there is still hope for renewal and rebirth. Number 4 Hera Hera is the queen of the gods and goddess of marriage, women, and childbirth in Greek mythology. She is the wife of Zeus and the sister of Poseidon and Hades. Hera is often depicted as a powerful and majestic figure, often wearing a crown and holding a scepter. She is known for her jealousy and vengefulness towards the many lovers and children of her husband, Zeus. Despite her fierce nature, she is also considered a protector of married women and a goddess of fertility. In many myths, she is also associated with the sacred cow and the peacock. Hera was considered one of the twelve Olympian gods and goddesses, and was honored in many religious festivals and rituals throughout ancient Greece. She was often associated with the city of Argos, and her temple there was considered one of the most important in ancient Greece. One of the most famous myths associated with Hera is the story of her marriage to Zeus. Despite his many affairs and illegitimate children, Hera remained devoted to her husband and was fiercely protective of their marriage. She punished those who dared to cross her, such as the mortal king Ixion, who was punished for trying to seduce Hera by being bound to a burning wheel for eternity. Another famous myth is the story of the birth of Heracles, Hercules in Roman mythology, who was born to Zeus and a mortal woman named Alcmene. In an act of jealousy, Hera attempted to prevent the birth and later tried to kill the baby, but Zeus intervened to protect him. Hera also played a significant role in the Trojan War, as she was one of the Olympian gods who supported the Greeks in their battle against the Trojans. She was known for her fierce battles and was considered a powerful and formidable opponent. In addition to her role in myths and legends, Hera was also an important goddess in ancient Greek religion and was honored in many festivals and rituals. She was considered a symbol of femininity and power, and was often depicted as a strong and beautiful woman. Despite her fierce nature, she was also revered for her ability to protect and bless marriages, and was considered a goddess of fertility and childbirth. Hera is one of the most powerful and important figures in Greek mythology, known for her beauty, strength, and fierce protectiveness. Another important myth that involves Hera is the story of her jealousy towards the mortal woman, Semele. Semele was a mortal woman who Zeus fell in love with, and as a result, Hera became jealous and sought to ruin their relationship. She disguised herself as an old woman and convinced Semele to ask Zeus to reveal his true form as a god. When Zeus did so, Semele was burned to death by the intense light and power of his godly form. Zeus, however, saved their unborn child, Dionysus, by sewing him into his thigh until he was ready to be born. Hera is also known for her famous wrath towards the Queen of Argos, Io. Io was a mortal woman who Zeus had fallen in love with, and as a result, Hera became jealous and turned her into a cow. She then sent a stinging insect to torment her and set her guardian, Argus, to watch over her. Eventually, Zeus intervenes and rescues Io, and Argus is killed by Hermes. Hera is also known for her role in the story of the Argonauts, a group of heroes who sailed on the ship Argo to retrieve the Golden Fleece. Hera, who was angry with the king of Caucasus, Aetes, for refusing to give her the fleece, helped Jason and the Argonauts in their quest to obtain it. In conclusion, Hera is a complex goddess in Greek mythology, known for her beauty, power, and jealousy. She was a protector of marriages, women, and childbirth, but also known for her wrath and vengefulness towards those who dared to cross her. She played a significant role in many myths and legends, and was an important goddess in ancient Greek religion and culture. Number 3 Hermes Hermes, also known as Mercury in Roman mythology, is the Greek god of commerce, thieves, travelers, sports, and messenger of the gods. He is the son of Zeus and the nymph Maia, and was born in a cave on Mount Selene in Arcadia. Hermes is often depicted as a young, athletic man with winged sandals and a herald's wand, Caduceus, which he used to guide the souls of the dead to the underworld. He is also known for his trickery and cunning, and was often depicted as a messenger of the gods, delivering messages and announcements from the gods to mortals. In addition to his role as a messenger, 
Hermes was also the patron of merchants, thieves, and travelers. He was said to have invented the lyre, and was known for his musical talents. He was also associated with the protection of travelers and was invoked for safe journeys. Hermes is often depicted as a protector of shepherds and flocks, and is said to have invented the lyre and the flute, and was also the patron of thieves and travelers. His Roman equivalent is Mercury. Hermes is known as the messenger of the gods, the patron of merchants and thieves, and the protector of travelers. He is also known for his trickery and cunning, as well as his musical talents. Hermes was also known for his role as a guide to the underworld, as he was said to lead the souls of the dead to the afterlife. He was also associated with dreams and dream interpretation, as well as with divination and prophecy. He was often depicted in art holding a caduceus, a staff with two snakes winding around it, which was a symbol of his role as a messenger and guide. In addition to his many roles and associations, Hermes was also known for his wit and intelligence. He was often depicted in myths and stories outwitting other gods and mortals, using his cunning and trickery to achieve his goals. In terms of mythology, Hermes was involved in many stories and myths, including the theft of Apollo's cattle and the invention of the lyre. He also played a role in the story of Perseus and the Gorgon, by providing Perseus with winged sandals, a cap of invisibility, and a sword to help him defeat the Gorgon Medusa. Hermes was also known for his romantic interests, and was said to have had several mortal and divine lovers, including Penelope, the wife of Odysseus, and the goddess Aphrodite. Hermes is a complex and multifaceted god in Greek mythology, known for his many roles and associations, as well as his wit, intelligence, and trickery. He is a god of commerce, thieves, travelers, sports, messenger of the gods and guide to the underworld. He is also known for his musical talents, divination and prophecy, and his role in many myths and stories. Hermes was also known for his role as a protector of travelers and merchants, especially those who traveled by sea. He was invoked before voyages to ensure a safe journey and to protect against shipwrecks and storms. He was also known to be the protector of merchants and traders, and was often depicted as a companion to the god of commerce, Dionysus. Hermes was also associated with the arts, particularly poetry and music. He was known to be a great poet and a musician, and was said to have invented the lyre, which he gave to Apollo as a gift. He was also said to be the patron of bards and poets, and was invoked by those seeking inspiration and creativity. Hermes was also known to be a guide of the souls of the dead, and was said to lead souls to the underworld. He was often depicted as a psychopomp, a guide of souls, and was often depicted with a caduceus, a staff with two snakes winding around it, which was a symbol of his role as a guide of souls. In mythology, Hermes was known for his role in many stories and myths, including the theft of Apollo's cattle, the invention of the lyre, and the story of Perseus and the Gorgon. He was also known for his wit and intelligence, and was often depicted outwitting other gods and mortals in myths and stories. Hermes is a multifaceted god in Greek mythology, known for his many roles and associations, including his role as a messenger, protector of travelers and merchants, guide of souls, patron of the arts and divination, and his trickery and wit. He was also known for his musical talents, poetry, and his role in many myths and stories. Number 2 Poseidon Poseidon is one of the twelve Olympian gods and goddesses in Greek mythology. He is the god of the sea, earthquakes, and horses. He is also known as the earth shaker and lord of the sea. Poseidon is the son of Cronus and Rhea, and the brother of Zeus and Hades. He is often depicted as a powerful and muscular man, holding a trident and riding a chariot pulled by sea horses. Poseidon was known for his powerful and unpredictable nature, and was often feared by sailors and fishermen. He was also known to create earthquakes and tsunamis, and was often depicted as a powerful and destructive force. Poseidon had many children, including Triton, the god of the sea, and the Cyclops. He also had many mortal children, including the famous hero Perseus. In addition to his role as the god of the sea, Poseidon was also associated with horses and was known as the patron of horse breeding and racing. He is also said to have created the first horse by striking the earth with his trident. Poseidon's temple was located in the port city of Corinth, where he was worshipped as the protector of the city and its people. He was also revered as the god of earthquakes, and was often invoked for protection against earthquakes and other natural disasters. Poseidon was one of the most powerful and respected of the Olympian gods, and his presence was felt in many aspects of ancient Greek life. His legacy lives on in literature, art, and culture, and he remains an important figure in Greek mythology today. Poseidon also had a rivalry with Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare, over the city of Athens. According to mythology, the two gods were asked to give gifts to the city, and the citizens would choose the god they wanted to protect the city. 
Athena gave the gift of an olive tree, which was seen as a symbol of peace and prosperity. Poseidon, on the other hand, struck a rock with his trident, and a saltwater spring emerged. The citizens of Athens chose Athena as their protector, and thus the city was named after her. Poseidon was also known to have a number of romantic relationships with both goddesses and mortal women. Some of his most famous lovers include Amphitrite, the goddess of the sea and his wife, and Medusa, a mortal woman who was turned into a monster by Athena. In mythology, Poseidon also played a role in the story of the Trojan War. He was said to have supported the Greeks, and helped them win the war by creating a massive earthquake that caused the walls of Troy to collapse. Poseidon was also known for his anger and jealousy, and was known to punish those who angered him. One famous example is the story of Odysseus, who blinded Poseidon's son, the Cyclops Polyphemus. As punishment, Poseidon caused a storm that delayed Odysseus' journey home for many years. Despite his fierce and unpredictable nature, Poseidon was also revered as a protector and bringer of prosperity. He was often invoked in rituals and prayers related to the sea, navigation, and earthquakes. His temples and shrines were often visited by sailors and fishermen, who sought his protection and blessings. Poseidon is an important figure in Greek mythology, known for his power, strength and his role in many stories and myths. He is also a reminder of the unpredictability and power of nature, and the importance of respecting and understanding the forces that shape our world. Additionally, Poseidon was also known for his role in the myth of the labyrinth and the minotaur. In this story, King Minos of Crete asked Poseidon to send him a sign that he was the rightful king of Crete. Poseidon sent a white bull as a sign, but Minos did not sacrifice it to the god as he was supposed to. In anger, Poseidon caused Minos' wife to fall in love with the bull and give birth to the minotaur, a creature with the body of a man and the head of a bull. Minos then built the labyrinth to contain the minotaur, and every nine years, he would send seven Athenian youths and seven maidens to be sacrificed to the beast. The hero Theseus was eventually able to slay the minotaur and end the sacrifices with the help of the princess of Crete, Ariadne, who gave him the thread to help him find his way out of the labyrinth. Poseidon is also said to have been one of the judges of the beauty contest between Aphrodite, Athena, and Hera for the golden apple that caused the Trojan War. Poseidon was also a father of many notable figures in Greek mythology, including the giant Antaeus, the giant Polybotes, the giant Enceladus, the giant Polyphemus, the giant Orion, the giant Tityus, the giant Alcyonus, the giant Cygnus, the giant Gerion, the giant Ephialtes, and the giant Otis. Poseidon was also associated with several festivals and rituals. For example, the Isthmian Games, held every two years in Corinth, were dedicated to him. The games were considered second in importance only to the Olympic Games and included athletic and musical competitions. In conclusion, Poseidon is a complex and multifaceted god in Greek mythology, known for his power over the sea, earthquakes and horses, his jealousy, his love affairs and his role in many myths and stories. He is also a reminder of the power of nature and the importance of respecting it. He is one of the most important figures in Greek mythology and his legacy is still present today in literature, art, and culture. Number 1 Zeus Zeus is the king of the gods in Greek mythology. He is the son of Cronus and Rhea and the youngest of their six children. He is the god of the sky, thunder, lightning, storms, and justice. He is often depicted as a powerful, bearded man holding a thunderbolt. Zeus is known for his many romantic affairs, including his marriage to his sister Hera, the goddess of marriage and childbirth. Together, they had several children, including Ares, the god of war, and Athena, the goddess of wisdom and warfare. Zeus is also known for his role in the defeat of the Titans, a group of powerful giants who ruled the world before the gods. He and his brothers and sisters, known as the Olympians, overthrew their father Cronus and the Titans to take control of the world. In addition to his role as king of the gods, Zeus was also seen as the protector of mankind and the guardian of justice and order. He was often invoked in oaths and was believed to punish those who broke their promises. Zeus is one of the most powerful and prominent figures in Greek mythology, and his legacy continues to influence modern culture and literature. Zeus was also the god of hospitality and was often invoked in rituals and ceremonies related to the welcoming of guests and strangers. He was believed to have the power to protect travelers and provide them with safe passage. In addition to his role as king of the gods, Zeus also served as the god of prophecy and oracles. He was believed to have the power to reveal the future and was often consulted by other gods and mortals alike. Zeus was also known for his jealousy and anger, especially when it came to his many romantic affairs. He was known to punish those who crossed him, including his own children, and was often depicted as a vengeful and ruthless deity. Despite his flaws, 
Zeus was still a respected and revered figure in Greek mythology. He was often depicted in art and literature and was the subject of many myths and stories. He continues to be a popular figure in modern culture, appearing in films, television shows, and video games. Zeus is a complex and multifaceted god in Greek mythology, with a wide range of powers and responsibilities. His legacy continues to be an important part of Greek mythology and has had a lasting impact on Western culture and literature. Zeus was also the god of the sky and weather, and was believed to control the winds, rain, and storms. He was often depicted as a powerful, thunderous figure, and his thunderbolts were seen as symbols of his power and authority. Zeus was also considered a god of justice, and was associated with the concept of divine justice. He was believed to have the power to punish those who broke the laws of the gods, and was often invoked in oaths and legal proceedings. In addition to his role as king of the gods, Zeus was also a protector of the city-states and the people of Greece. He was often honored and revered in the form of statues and temple shrines throughout the Greek world. In Greek mythology, Zeus is also known for his famous battles and contests. For example, he defeated the Titans in the Titanomachy, and defeated the giant Typhon in a great battle, who was considered one of the most fearsome monsters in Greek mythology. Zeus is also known for his role in the myth of the labors of Heracles, where he helped Heracles in his tasks, and also for his role in the myth of the Odyssey, where he helped Odysseus on his journey back to Ithaca. Zeus is a powerful and complex god in Greek mythology, with a wide range of powers and responsibilities. He continues to be an important and revered figure in Western culture and literature, and his legacy continues to influence modern art, literature, and popular culture.